Hi, this is Christian. In this video, I'm going to show you how to register event listeners to two buttons and using two different methods. Okay, so here is my uh, layout for the activity main. I'm using input field for this is a edit, edit text field. Enter data. When I click submit, it's going to grab the data from here and going to append the data to the output field over here. This is a text field as well. And then we'll also click the clear all button. We're going to clear both data from here and down here. Okay. So uh, first is go. Let's go to the main activity. And here's the main activity. I'm going to create a function uh, down here. Okay. So we'll call it um, public void, and I'll call it on submit. And I'll take the view, and then here let me import the view first. Just press Alt Enter, and then it should import that for you up here. And so when I, you know, I'm going to go up to the global space and declare two, uh, maybe three variables. Give me two. One's for the text view. This is uh, the text input. And I do another one for the text output. Okay, so just think that just those two. And then uh, in here, um, well, yeah, nothing much here. So that's all I need for this one here. I'm going to do another one here as well um, to also something similar, public void on clear. Let me clear all, OK? Again, view, view. We may not need the view, but we'll just put that anyway just in case. The view here, however, is actually the object that you pass to, whatever is, is bound to. The view here will represent that view. So if you attach this function to the button, the view will represent the button. If you attach this to a text view, it'll be the text view. So whatever object you attach this to, the view is representing that object. Okay. And so that is all I'm doing. Now, when I uh, submit the data, the submit, I'm going to grab the text uh, from the input text field. I'm going to get the uh, text, the string, and then, you know, just basically append that to the output here. Okay. So here I'm going to go and say um, txt. Well, before I do this, I want to get the reference to these objects. So right in here, when I click the start, I'll do it once because this function runs only one time. Okay. It runs only one time. And every time we go back to this um, activity, it runs every time. But when you run this Initially, it just runs it once, and so you want to set those right in here. And I'm going to say txt input um, equal to we're going to uh, convert that to text view, and we used to find by id r dot id dot txt input. Okay, uh, edt I call it edt input. Actually, it's an error. Sorry, this should be an edit view, not edit text, not a t txt. I call this edt. Just make it a little bit different. And so this will be EDT. Okay. And then here will be it edit V text. Okay, so I you know find the reference. I do the same thing for the other one. Uh, this will be the TXT output equals this will be the text view. And then find by D R dot ID dot TXT output. Okay, so I got those references, and then I'm gonna go here and uh, when I click the button, I'm going to, you know, get the text from the edit view, move that to the text view. So I would do something like string, um, uh, just call it uh, me txt text from the edit input. Uh, no, not that one. Input that, get text. And you want to convert it to string, okay? So to string, and then here. And then finally, I'm going to uh, call the txt output dot set text. Call that set text function. You pass in the. Well, actually, I'm not going to set text. I'm going to use the append. Okay. Set text means it will overwrite everything you have in that text. So if that's the uh, if that's what you want, then you call that. Otherwise, if you call the append uh, function, you pass here the txt. So it will keep adding that to that text. Okay. And then at the same time, when I enter the submit button, I also want to clear the text in that field. Okay. So I'm going to go and say edit t input dot set text. And you set it to an empty string. Okay. You just basically clear clear that input field. 
and then on the clear all is basically I'm going to clear both of them so you can just do very simple the um, edit input text dot set text to be empty and then you do the same thing for the other one uh, txt dot set text to be empty so you clear both fields basically that's it okay so let's see what this looks like now um, before I run this though we want to go to the main activity over here again and we're going to attach a event a function to the submit button so you click the submit button here and on the right side if you don't see these um, attributes make sure you act, turn on your attributes here and you can look for the um, on click you can you know scroll down and find it or you can look in the search icon here and just search for on click it will show up really quickly here okay so here's the on click and since we already created the function and the code they are available right here for us to choose from so if you click the drop down you see it's right here so I'm going to attach this um, on submit function to the on click event so this is an event listener actually uh, you yeah, right event you attach to that directly to the on click event so that is one way how to do this program okay so now we can save this and run and see if if it works okay so I'm gonna go and run and it's compiling so here is my little app here um, not sure what's going on let me just do it again just in case one more time okay so no errors all right so I'm gonna go here enter some data you know one two three four enter submit and as you can see enter we move the data down here this field clears automatically I put here again a maybe uh, five six seven eight submit and you see that it pens the data down here um, it attached to the text string down here because I did not you know include a carriage return so you probably want to do that as well um, so that looks good okay I'm gonna add a carriage return and then I'm gonna go and then you know attach another event to the clear all button using a different method okay so back in here so I showed you already how to do that using the unclick uh, event attach it to a function this way okay now let's go back to the source code and when we attach the append here I'm going to add a um, uh, at the end of this string here at the end I'm gonna add just concatenate it with the slash n this is a escape key for a new line okay so every, after I append a text you know generate a new line and then it's ready for the next uh, line okay so that's good so now the second one is we're going to create what's called an event listener okay it listens to an event and you do that programmatically in your code here all right so to do that we have to again register the or find a reference to the button which is the clear all button so down here I'm going to create a button uh, a object the button we call it uh, btn clear all and this can be assigned to a button uh, find by d r dot id dot btn clear okay that's the clear button so now that reference has been created I'm gonna go in then import the button class okay so notice you have to add every time you create a text field button field and a lot of those, those views if you go up here you can see that in the import statements you see that these right here are in the same class called widget okay so instead of doing this for every time you can you know turn all these off and just put a star right here okay so that you know all the classes that are part of the widget or subclasses of the widget you don't have to do that import every time okay um, just a shortcut so so now I created a um, reference to that clear all button I would just call it clear it's okay but so now we're going to register to this button using a function call set on click listener there are a couple of them okay the one that is most popular is the on click event listener so you can call this function can click on it and then to this function we're going to pass in a event list a uh, event handler which in this case is called the um, view so you have a new view dot and you see here is the on click listener okay usually this one here is uh, named um, the same or similar way to the set on the function over here so if it's set on in you know, a hover you have view dot on 
cover or something. Okay, so you click on this function here, and then you see that um, this is a you're gonna treat this like a uh, a class, like that because you know this new here is, means it's a class even though this is an interface, but it allows you to you know create a um, what's called the anonymous inner class. Okay, this is the um, anonymous inner class. Okay, so you see there's a red line here because I didn't do it the other way. Uh, usually if you type it out and you hit the tab key, it will insert everything for you. But here if I mouse over this, it says you must implement any methods in there. So if you go ahead and click this implement methods here, you'll see just uh, you see this one function called onClick you must implement because it's an, it's an abstract, uh, um, the view is an abstract class. Okay, so every every abstract class, um, every extra functions or methods you must implement. Yeah, I think this is the interface. Okay, so when we click the button called clear, it's going to look for a click event because we set on a click event so it listens to a click event when it clicks when we click the button it's going to load this function goes in here and then trigger this handler this is called a handler it's a function or event handler it handles what you need to do here okay so instead of you know doing my coding here i already have a function called on clear all so i would just call the function right in here on clear all and then i pass in the v Right, this V here is this view here, right? V you pass that to that and then it satisfies the requirements down here. So that's all I'm doing here. Um, so save this now. So go back and run your code. And now hopefully let's close this. Okay, um let me let me just you know do something here because I think something is wrong here. In one of my previous old apps keep running. Okay, so now if I go and type in something again, one, two, three, hit submit, okay, uh, four, five, six, submit, you see that now it, you know, adds on a new line. And if I click clear all, it wipes the data here. Up here it's already empty when we submit it. So, uh, for example, if I put one, two, three, submit, if I type in four, five, six, and if I don't hit submit yet, if I click clear all, you see that both texts are been deleted. Okay, so that's how you attach or register uh, events um, to an object. In this case, it would be to the buttons. I showed you two ways. You can use the event listener using, you know, uh, IDs, or you can attach it directly to the object down here, over here, using the GUI interface. So either way is, um, is, is usually fine, but you'll find that later on, it's actually much easier to do it in the code. So again, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thank you.